Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys, is alchemy actually useful in Oblivion? Is it worth it to actually make potions in Oblivion and collect all the mushrooms and food and stuff? And we'll just go over what alchemy is used for. It's used for God knows how many things. Alright, so we'll start. It's an attribute of intelligence. So alchemy is actually one of those things, if you want to increase your character's magic, you make potions and you get a higher magical pool I know they call it magica I call it magic all right I don't like calling it magica but you have a higher magic pool if you have a higher intelligence so when you level up level up your intelligence boom all just from simply making potions it's kind of strange because I don't know I feel like casting spells should do that but eh, I don't know oblivion logic so making potions I use it as a form of making money because money is sometimes very needed in oblivion okay if you're a mage main just use a lot of magic maybe you, you know a sword or whatever but you use a lot of magic you're gonna need restore magic potions and to purchase restore magic potions or maybe go get welkin stones I don't know you must make money to then purchase or maybe you just want to buy a house really fast, make potions. Or you want to get rid of stolen food, but not have it be taken away from you, make potions. If you make potions with stolen items, they're not stolen potions. Which is really nice, actually. So, that's kind of the money side of it, and the thievery side of alchemy. Alchemy, though, I think the biggest thing about alchemy is simply the uses it has. I mean, if you remember the, in, let's just say you're really, really good and you remember some basic ingredients. Like, I'm pretty sure I know most of the items that restore health. So if I need more restore health potions, I go get those items, right? Purchase specifically at all of the alchemy stores, make a bunch of restore health potions. Maybe I need poisons, right? Shock damage poisons are great. Or paralyzed po poisons, right? I know... A lot of times I talk about not using a bow, but if you have a max level character, sorry not a max level character, a max difficulty character, a bow is invaluable to you. Alright, because the last thing you want to do is have to get up to someone and paralyze them or poison them with a sword and then they'll hit you back or stun you or drop you or something like that anything like that that's what you don't want to happen bows i mean let me just give you guys an example of shock enchantments helping me i was playing my pure mage i ran out of everything so i pulled out this random shock dagger i found on the ground and did i think 15 a strike and killed something with it i did not use the sword a lot with that character and basically at all and it saved me Poisons are the same way. They can really save you. A paralyzed poison against an enemy that can get paralyzed can save your character's life. An extra, a like, couple extra damage strikes. You just swing, poison for shock. Swing, poison for shock. You can bump up extra damage really, really fast. You can also make cure disease poison potions. Cure paralyzes potions. If you get paralyzed for more than two seconds, it's scary. So you can heal yourself up, cure yourself of all those ailments with alchemy. Alchemy is the culmination of all magic coming together to help you out. And it's really nice. All of it is limited use, you can only use a potion once. But the effects that it can give your character and the bonuses that you have from using all of these potions is amazing. All right? Most of my fortify magic and fortify health potions come from alchemy. And that can help me out if I need lots of extra health or magic. So, guys, that's it for this video. Alchemy is extremely useful and should be a staple of every single character that you make that wants to be really, really good. Like, 100%. Even if it's not a, if, even if it's not a major skill, alchemy is always my first skill that I max out. So, I'd love to know what you think about alchemy in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos. I'm just the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.